Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. <clears throat> A few words about uranium. Uh, we think it very unlikely that the German cancellation of nuclear power in 2022 will survive the parliamentary and legal maneuvering processes. This is largely a political maneuver uh, by Angela Merkel in order to preserve her parliamentary majority um, because a number of other issues are starting to affect the possibilities of the re-election. <clears throat> we don't expect uh, this issue to stand. But even if it did, so what? Uh, we've got a world full of countries that are depending upon nuclear power uh, to provide electric power for their grids in their countries. All of these countries, while reviewing their regulatory processes, are continuing with approvals, even the United States of America. So let's put the German situation in perspective. Let's study closely our projections for uranium performance. Check out our white paper in uranium at our website, www.waterscapital.com. Now, <clears throat> another comment about stuff. The, <clears throat> it is patently absurd that we have troops in 150 countries. That's nutty. Uh, it's no longer relevant. In most places, it produces enmity, uh, not friendliness, and we need to get them out of there. We need to get out of Afghanistan. We need to just leave. We don't need to declare victory or anything. We just need to go uh, and, and, and take those trillions of dollars and put them back in circulation in the USA. One of Osama bin Laden's goals has been achieved. He's damn near ruined a great country because we've wasted all this time and money fighting ridiculous wars that weren't even directed at the people who caused us the problem in the first place. So, Arnie Waters... I'm really strongly suggesting that the Obama administration immediately begin troop withdrawals and bring those troops home and that our armies and, and navies and our armed services restore themselves after this sustained period of stress. And it's not a question of, of not acknowledging those who've died. Uh, I think in some cases these wars were philosophically thought out and there's never any shame to anybody who dies in the service of the United States. But I think it's time to get out. Just get out. Quit. And let those resources be directed into the restoration of our own economy and uh, fighting this, what is a huge class economic gap that is uh, growing so much in our country. Now, uh, even though I'm for reducing the defense budget, um, I want to take note of certain things that uh, rare earths do. Uh, in, uh, in other words, in, in, in defense. <clears throat> Precision guided missiles, lasers, underwater mine detection, communications, various kinds of aircraft production, uh, optical displays, coatings, optical equipment, and the new version of sonar. So we think, even though we are for a reduction in the defense budget, we don't think it's very likely there will be a significant one. So we think this is another opportunity for rare earths as well. So aim for the ice blows, not the open water. Have a great weekend and do something nice for somebody without asking for credit. This is our